Um, well, thank you for sharing that. And how about a make or two along the way that you'd like to yeah. share? Yes. So uh, one make was a, a big one was when we hit our hundredth studio. You know, that's a kind of milestone. And I always projected that we would have that and to, in 2020. But because I made the projection, we actually got there already in April 2017. So this is one make is that if you uh, project your growth, the more you make that a mental projection, the more the reality already exists in your head. And then it's just literally a matter of filling it out. But I never doubted that we would get there. And just like I said, we're going to be all over the world. And uh, so 10 years from now, we will, have, we will have at least 40 countries where we will be active. And now that's for me, you know, not a question mark, it's a certainty because we got from one country to 10 countries at the moment and we're talking to the next six. So it's a matter of projecting and believing. And I think that's a big make. If you doubt yourself in the wrong way, you, you allow failure to get in um, and you've got to keep that up. Um, and I think another big important point was being fortunate to attract the right kind of people. And I really believe in what I call the law of attraction. So you, it, you can't do it on your own, no matter how smart you are. You need a, a very good team that really buys into the mission and the vision of, of what we do and with whom we, you have a very good culture. And I saw the first master franchisees that we attracted they didn't join us because of a business model. I mean, I couldn't even properly present a business model in those days. So it was on my enthusiasm and on the vision. And those are the people who are the pioneers. And you need some pioneers who really, you know, duck their shoulders under it and say, okay, I'm, I'm with you. And that's how we did, I think, the impossible. 